Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Hairstyle Body Show. Okay, so do you know that there are some certain things you don't have to do while on body has their products? Do you also know that there are things you have to do while on body has their products? And these rules helps your products, helps your products work faster and also helps you to avoid any complication that might arise while on body enhancement products. But in this video, I'll be specifically talking about what and heat enlargement rules. Yes, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, this is the right time to do so. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because in this channel, we we'll talk about amazing things, amazing topics, everything body, both and hip enlargement products, both and hip enlargement, um, breast enlargement products, uh, weight loss, everything body. Okay, so do well to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that anytime i post these amazing videos you will be notified and also be the first to watch it okay so let's proceed yes there are so many rules you have to abide while on body enhancement products and if you're making body enhancement products for personal use or you're selling out you need to know these rules they are very very important like seriously they are very important if you are selling out once your clients place an order, the next thing to do is to send these rules to your clients. Your clients need to look at these rules and also uh, go with it in order to make their product work faster and also to avoid any complications that might arise from any product you are giving out. Remember I said, I'm specifically talking about butt and hip enlargement rules and regulations. I repeat, butt and hip enlargement rules and regulations. In our next video, I'll be talking about boobs, rules and regulations. I can also talk about uh, weight loss. Yes, we have weight loss rules and regulations. There are plenty of not just one or two or three, it's numerous. But uh, this bot and hip enlargement product, that's the one we are treating now, okay? So rules and regulations are like, um, the laws are binding, like it's like principles. Rules uh, your clients need to follow, rules you as a personal user needs to follow while using body enhancement products. Get your pen and paper, anything you got to use for this uh, you will use to write down these things. Get it right now because I'm about to start. And once the client uh, order, do well to send the rules and regulation to your clients. It should be one of your um, materials. Do well to send the rules and regulation, like document it. If possible, type it. If you have work in store, like uh, work in stores where people come in to buy your products, I think the best way to do this to write it down, then, uh, sorry, print it out, print it out and drop it on your table or drop it on uh, your secretary table so that once your working client um, gets to your office or gets to your store, the first thing they will see is that rules and regulation because these rules and regulations are very, very important. And are you surprised that body enhancement uh, products have rules and regulations? If today is the first time of hearing this, Thank God you are in, you are watching this video, okay? So the first thing, uh, the first rules and regulation. I hope you are with your pen and paper. Get your pen and paper because I'll be listing um, um, so many of them. I just want you to write this down so you can use it for your clients. And if you're using it, if you are a personal user, like you're making products for yourself for your personal use, uh, this rules and regulation is also important. Okay, so get a pen and paper. I give you um, four seconds to do that. One, two, three, and four. Okay, let's move on. The number one rules and regulation is you need to tell your clients that natural body enhancement products takes time to work. 
is a gradual process. Some clients who want to see results in the next two days, um, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. It's not magic. It'll be chemical. It's not chemical. So it doesn't work as fast as they are thinking. Okay. So that is number one rule. You see that once they get their products, they already anticipate. They already know that this will not work in the next two days. Old. So you have to give them these rules and regulations. Let them know natural body enhancement product does not work as fast as they are thinking. So it's a gradual process. It works gradually because this is herbs. Herbs takes time to work. Okay, just need to let them know it's a gradual, it's a gradual process. Something it doesn't work as fast as they are thinking. Okay, so let them get that in their mind. Okay. Number two rules and regulation of both and heat enlargement products is you must combine both intake and massaging products. What do I mean by that? A whole lot of clients will want to use only oil or cream to achieve a bigger, massive butt size. It doesn't work that way. Baby girl, it doesn't work that way. You must combine the intake. What do I mean by intake? Like the ones you take orally. The one you take through your mouth, which is your powder and your syrup, okay? So you must combine this powder, syrup, um, oil, cream, and some people do use pills also. And um, what else? There are many of them. Gummies, okay? So you must combine the intake and the oil, that is the massaging products. So this is number two rule. They should know about that before they order. The majority of them will want to buy only oil. Oil won't work alone. It will not work alone. So you need um, intake and massaging products. And massaging products is very, very important. Two of them are very, very important. They are like brothers and sisters. The two cannot do without each other. The intake cannot do without cream. Why the cream oil cannot do without the intake? These two are like brothers and sisters they work together for good okay because when you take when you when you when you combine this uh intake and um, massaging products it makes your products work faster this is the number two rule like it's a must make it a must you must buy intake and massaging products you must buy intake and massaging products i don't sell single products i don't sell only oil i don't sell only cream i don't sell only syrup they are all in kits so if i was selling i would suggest you tell your clients you don't sell one don't sell single product it must be in kits so that it will work for them okay that is number two rule is a must is a must they must use both intake and massaging products okay number two rule take note have you written it down? Take note to, okay? Avoid antibiotics. Avoid antibiotics. We have a whole lot of antibiotics. Do you want to grow your butt side? Do you want to grow your front side? Yes, we have the products. We have already made products. Very, very effective. 100% effective. These are the products right down here. We have butt and hip enlargement powder, Pot and hip enlargement syrup, pot and hip enlargement oil and cream. If you don't have the strength to infuse your pot and hip enlargement products, you don't have the time to infuse this pot and hip enlargement oil syrup, any of these products. If you don't have the time to do that, just send a message. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. I will deliver. I deliver worldwide. I deliver anywhere. As far as you are in this world, I deliver everywhere. If you are taking your body enhancement products and uh, you have one pimple here or you have uh, one thing, you have infection or anything you which requires you to take antibiotics you have to stop your body enhancement entirely and focus on your antibiotics after seven good days you can go back to your body enhancement products which is your butt and hip enlargement products okay do not take antibiotics why on body enhancement products these two does not go together they don't work together they don't work together unlike um the number two rules where you must take 
uh, uh, take um, both intake and massaging products. Now, antibiotics and body enhancement products, which is a butt and hip enlargement product, does not work together. You must avoid antibiotics. If you have anything, if you have any sickness that requires you to take antibiotics, you have to suspend your butt and hip enlargement products. Focus on your antibiotics. After taking your antibiotics, you can fall back to your body enhancement product, your post and hip enlargement product, which is after seven good days. After seven good days, allow it to flush out. When you're taking antibiotics, antibiotics don't want doesn't allow you to take any other like child medicals to or any herbs. So that is the same thing with both and hip enlargement uh, products. Since antibiotics doesn't allow you to uh, take any other drugs, you know this is tradomedical, this is pure herbs, vitamins and um, a whole lot. Okay, so antibiotics doesn't allow you to take these herbs. Same thing as both and hip enlargement product does not allow antibiotics to come into the bloodstream. Why? Um, body enhancement or butt and hip enlargement product is there okay so two of them are like enemies they don't work together they don't work together in any way okay so if anything requires if uh, you are sick or ill which requires you to take antibiotics just have to drop body enhancement product for now focus on your antibiotics after it, you can go back to body enhancement products. Okay, I know some of you might be stubborn. You might say, um, I want it to work faster. I'll have to stay for like seven good days before I start taking it again. What will happen? Nothing will happen. Let me take it, Jerry. <laughs> you are doing yourself, oh, you are doing yourself. It might have some complications too, not just uh, preventing it from working. Uh, faster but it might have complications okay so just avoid it totally and uh, focus on your antibiotics after your antibiotics you can go back to your body enhancement products okay examples of antibiotics are tetracycline penicillin ampiclos uh -huh. ampiclos too so many ladies use ampiclos for nothing after mm -mm. Do not use the ampicloss if your body has hair products. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So please do not use the ampicloss. Um, like so many ladies use ampicloss as contraceptive pills. That's what I meant by okay. So do not if you are using it, that means you are altering your body has hair products. Once you use the ampicloss, please just suspend the body has hair products for like seven good days. So if you don't want to suspend it, you have to know what to do do not use the ampicloss okay the number four rule is eat healthily not just to eat make sure you eat the major and um, eat balanced diets remember foods play a major role when it comes to body enhancement um products so if you're on the body enhancement products and you are taking good foods balanced diet you'll see your products working faster that's one of the reasons your vendor will tell you do well to eat so do not eat anything less than three times in a day make sure you eat up to three times in a day and more okay so um food plays a major role that plays a major role when it comes to body enhancement products which i would suggest you eat very well um i have a video where i talked about i listed out um the foods you eat while on body enhancement products to make your products work faster. Link is in the description below. Okay, you can go back and watch them. So I won't be talking much about the, um, the foods you have to tell your clients to eat well. Some of them will tell you, uh, Mom, I don't, I don't like eating. Sis, I don't like eating. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to eat. You have to force them to eat. Is one of the rules. They must eat. They have to eat well. Like chicken breast, uh, chicken, uh, peanut butter, uh, soya meat. They have to eat well. Eat a whole lot of meat. Eat well. Eat like proteinous food. Eat uh, calories. Not like calories increase our fat layers. You have to eat foods that are proteinous and also eat food that are high in calories. 
The foods that are high in calories helps to increase our fat layers and the foods that are high in protein also helps to increase the muscle mass, okay? So you have to eat a whole lot of um, proteinous food and calories. Tell your client to do this. They should take a whole lot of calories food, um, take um, a whole lot of uh, proteinous food like chicken breast, peanut butter, um, many of them, okay? So eating healthily plays a major role when it comes to butter and keep enlargement products. That means this is a must, they must eat healthily. Put it down there, write it down. Let your clients know this, that they must eat not less than three times in a day. They must eat not less than three times a day. So the fifth rule is avoid stress. Yes, this topic, this one, this one, this one specifically, you need to emphasize more on it. Yes, you are taking butt and hip enlargement products, and it's not working. What do you think that is making it not to work? It's stress. Be it emotional stress, physical stress, spiritual stress, <laughs> uh, any type of stress at all, it will make your products not to work. Avoid stress. Um, sleep often and avoid any energy consuming work because if you are stressed out these products won't work so if you want to make these products to work faster and not just to work effectively but faster you have to sleep often avoid stress I know some people like strolling you like strolling every time if you are going to Abba you stroll to Abba this time around, please do not stroll. Stop strolling like that. You need rest as far as mine is concerned. If your body has meant um, product right now, stop strolling up and down. Stop strolling up and down. Take some rest. Sleep often. Okay. Allow your products to work. Allow it to work. Okay. And um, tell your clients to the shoe if you are making for uh, for commercial use always tell your client to take enough rest once they take their pulse and hip enlargement product they should rest allow the pulse and hip enlargement products to digest so it can work its work okay so the next rule is infection treat infection before you start your pulse and hip enlargement products before you start taking your pulse and hip enlargement products you definitely have to treat infection. Some people have infection without knowing. Uh, why some have infection, they know about it, but they don't want to treat it. Now, and you want to uh, take butt and hip enlargement products, you want to enlarge your butt and hip, but you don't want to treat infection. You have to treat infection before you embark on your butt and hip enlargement journey, your body enhancement journey. Because infection and body enhancement products, be it books, uh, enhancement products, or butt and hip enlargement products, it will not work if you have infection. So, our advice, or I will suggest you uh, start treating infection right now as you are waiting for your butt and hip enlargement products. For those that are making for commercial use, tell your client to start treating infection before your product arrives. I tell my client, once they order, Immediately I see the alert. The next thing I will tell you is that treat infection. If whether you have it or not, just treat it. Before your products arrive, at least you're almost done with your infection drink or infection product or infection powder. Okay, so treat infections is to help. So this rule is you must treat infection. Always treat infection before you take pot and hip enlargement products it might cause harm or but i don't really know but it might cause um some complications when you have underlying infection or diseases let's like call it disease or if all of them are the same pot and hip enlargement products are, are a combination of different herbs and uh, these are pure herbs like these are herbs when you have infection if you are taking these herbs and vitamins on top of the infection, it might result to on that thing and might result to uh, complications, might bring out other things you don't even know about from your body. Okay, that is one of the reasons we advise you treat infection before you start your pot and hip enlargement products. This is 
the rule of bust and hip enlargement products okay the next is do not take your product while you're on your period do not take your post and hip enlargement products while menstruating it's very bad it's very very bad even though you want even though you want your product to be working as you want it to work fast 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 in the sense that since your vendor have said be consistent with this since your vendor has said be consistent with your product now you have carried it on your head you want your product you want to be taking it every day morning afternoon night midnight any you want to take from monday to sunday forgetting that on your menstruation day you don't have to take it just remove five days it will still work okay five days five days in a month it will still work even though your vendor have told you be consistent with your product be consistent with your product and he or she didn't tell you that you don't have to use it on your period you are hearing it now you don't have to use your butt and hip enlargement product during your period okay and uh, avoid it totally so this is rule is a must rule do not use butt and hip enlargement products why on your period do not use it okay and the next rule is do not take um butt and hip enlargement products while you are sick yes this is another one Someone told me that since this butt and hip enlargement product, they are herbs. This travel medicals, it might cure my sickness if I'm taking it. See, it will not cure your sickness, so it might also it might even increase it. So the main reason for you not to take this product while you are sick, you are taking medication quite alright. You might be taking English medication, you might be taking on that travel medicals, uh, you might be taking um might be on that travel medicals. These herbs are different from all those uh, 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 herbs that will cure your malaria or that will cure your headache or that will cure your typhoid. It's different. Now your body is fighting to survive. Your body is fighting um, the sickness and you are taking pot and hip enlargement product. So which one do you want your body to fight? Is it the pot and hip enlargement product that is seen as uh, 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 sickness or that is seen as virus, that is seen as disease or that? is seen as anything at all whatever so which one do you want your body to fight let your body fight the sickness first after the sickness after you are being healed you are okay you can embark on your butt and hip enlargement products do not risk it if you are sick please do not take butt and hip enlargement products it is not good for your body it is not good for your system okay so allow your body to fight whatever it is fighting okay and the next rule is avoid tight wears aha uh -huh. this is another rule we have to emphasize on stop wearing tight wears stop wearing tight skirts stop wearing tight trousers stop wearing tight leggings Make sure you avoid it till you've gotten at least you are getting close to your desired results. Allow yourself to grow. Allow yourself to grow. I know, yes, I know it's very, very tempting when your boss and hip enlargement products, you want to wear tight things that will bring it out. Yes, I know. I understand. I, I have been there before. I understand. Okay. But just hold yourself. Hold yourself. Just avoid it. Okay. Hold yourself. Wear loose uh, uh, wears. Loose cares. And um, this rule, this uh, present rule, I will advise and I will suggest you wear boyfriend jeans. If you are not a fan, you can wear loose you must be a fan of boyfriend G, but if you're not a fan, wear um gown, flag gown. I think flag gown works very well. Wear flag gown, okay. But boyfriend G works very well as far as this rule is concerned. But do not wear any other uh tight tight things. If you have loose trousers, leggings is not that tight. The tight leggings we know about is sports tight. That one is a no-no. If your body has many products unless you're going for workouts if you're going for workout yes you can wear it if you're going for workout you can wear it okay but if it's just for you to go to market you're going to work and you're wearing tight 
no please do not do that if you're going to work you might spend up to seven hours in your workplace you might spend up to five hours in your workplace that five hours you're putting on tight steam how will you expect your products to work how will you expect your how will you now see results how will you see results is it possible to see results if you are putting on tight things you're shrinking it like you're trying to expand something and uh, at the same time you are shrinking it you're bringing it back so this is the reason why you don't have to uh, wear tight things you have to allow yourself to grow okay make sure you wear loose things and the best wear is here yeah, is boyfriend jean uh flay gown flay skirt not jean skirt or jean trousers yes yeah, jean trousers can work but it shouldn't be tight okay if you are wearing tight things it shouldn't be every day let's say you don't have boyfriend jean you don't have flay skirt you don't have yes wear your trousers but it shouldn't be every time okay so that's the rule for you avoid uh do not wear tight things avoid tight gears okay another rule is do not take weight loss products why on body enhancement products yes another this is another good topic another rule we need to also emphasize on majority of you are taking pot and hip enlargement product at the same time you are taking but um, weight loss products. You don't want your tummy to become big like uh, your vendor have told you that you should be taking your butt and hip enlargement products and also take your uh, waist, waist trimming powder at the same time so that your tummy will not grow big. Yes. That is not good. Do not take your butt and hip enlargement products while on weight loss products. Take one first. When you are done with one, then you can continue with the other one. Some vendors tell their client to take um, the pot and hip enlargement products first before their weight loss products. Some say you should take your weight loss, your flat tummy tea first before you take your pot and hip enlargement products. Both of them works. All depends on what you want. So these are like methods for different persons, different folks. You too, you can create your own method. Take it before or take it after. It's all the same. They work the same. Okay, so please do not take weight loss products while on body enhancement products. Yes, I know you want to trim down your waist. I know you want to bring down your tummy. I know about that. But do not just avoid it if you want your product to work faster. There is no how you're trying to grow your butt. At the same time, you're trying to lose weight. How does it work? It does not work that way now. Yes, even with common sense, it does not work that way. You, have, you want to add up, you're trying to build muscle, you're trying to build much uh, mass, you're trying to add um, fat layers, you're trying to build muscle mass, and you at the same time trying to shrink down, break down that muscle mass. It doesn't, it does not work that way. So, you have to take one first, after one, you control with the other one. Okay, so just avoid it. Tell your clients to avoid weight loss products while onboarding harshment. Yes, I have made the mistake before and I wouldn't want you to make that same mistake, okay? The next truth is this product is not meant for under 18 years ladies. Under 18 years ladies. Write it boldly. That should even be the first one. Yes. If you are 15 and you need back side. If you are 16 and you need front side. Yes. But for now, do not take it and do not sell the product to under 18 years do not sell to under 18 years it's meant for people above 18 18 and above okay they are adults the next rule is do not take alcohol or uh, do not smoke few um hours after taking your butt and hip enlargement product you are interrupting it in fact, if you smoke, yes, you have you can smoke, but during this post and hip enlargement um, product, like during the time you are taking this post and hip enlargement product, please you can minimize it. I know it might be hard to minimize, but just try, yeah, just try and minimize it. Just try. And the other thing is that do not take it few like three to four hours after taking post and hip enlargement product. You can take from uh, five hours and above. Okay, allow your system, allow your body system 
to find these products and break them down and store them in the right places. The body will use this three to four hours to store those fats in the right places. So if you take alcohol during that time, if you take if you smoke during that time, you are interrupting it. If you're smoking or you're taking alcohol during this time, your products will not work. Okay. As a vendor, why um selling your why sending these things to them? Make sure you draw your E, especially this one. This one can cause uh, some complications. This one can cause some complications, okay? So make sure you, you mini, tell them to minimize it. I tell my clients, if you smoke, I'm not against that, but minimize Yeah, I'm not against that, but minimize it. Minimize it, do not take, if you used to take uh, four times in a day, you can just minimize to like two times in a day. If you take like eight times in a day, you can minimize it to four times in a day, okay? So you give yourself the chance give your body the chance the space to break down these foods to break down this body enhancement uh, products to break down this boss and hip enlargement foods to fats and store them in the right places okay yes the next is um exercise make sure you exercise Yes, some um, some vendor will tell you do not exercise while on body enhancement products. Why some vendors too will also tell you do uh, if, uh, exercise while on body enhancement products. Yes, yeah, these two, these two, they work together. You have to check the one that works for you. The two works, but you have to check the one that works for you. Check the one that works for you. What I said so is that some people are taking butter and heat enlargement products. But their salad is growing. I mean, their leg is the one growing. The butt is not growing. They are squatting. They are not squatting. They are not squatting right. You see them having muscular, muscular features. Instead of feminine features, they are having muscular features because of the weight they are carrying or the exercise. The exercise they are, they are, they are, they are, they are doing is not, it's not corresponding. It's not helping matters. Okay. So if it's not working for you, if you are taking butt and hip enlargement products. Sit down and evaluate. Has this work has been helping me? If it has not been helping you, my sister, just stop it. Just continue with your butter hip enlargement products. It will work. But if it's helping you, bravo. It will even give you a faster result. But if it's not helping you, please just stop it. Okay? Stay at home. Do not stress yourself. Take your butter hip enlargement products. Take the right food. Have a good sleep. Yes. It will definitely work. So do not be uh, pressured or whatever, whatever they say that must. Uh, my vendor say that must uh, 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 exercise before this thing works and want to want to want to. You must not exercise. The two works, like I said earlier. These two works, but you have to look for the one that works for you. Look for the one that best work for you. It works. Okay. So the next rule is follow the procedures. This is the other pattern pata of them all. Follow the procedures. If your vendor tells you to take your products once in a day or twice in a day or three times in a day, please do that. Just do it like that. Just do it like that. And another thing is that there are specific times you have to take your butt and hip enlargement products. I know a lot of you don't know about this. The next thing, just tell your clients, take your products in the morning or take morning and night after meal, before meal. No, they have specific time. Like morning time, they have specific time to take these products for you to work faster. Evening. So let's take an example. You are telling your client to take um, her pot and hip enlargement uh, products first thing in the morning and last thing at night after dinner. And, after, and before breakfast, let's assume this your client. Her dinner is twelve o'clock, twelve a.m. Okay, let's say eleven p.m. Going to twelve. Do you think that eleven p.m. product will work? It will not work. Even though it will work, it will take a whole lot of time. It's better you don't even take it that night again. So, there are specific times you have to take your pot and hip enlargement product. In the morning, they have specific time for it. 
at night i have specific time for it okay so always do well to follow procedure if your client tells you to take if your vendor tells you to take your product in the morning let's say 6 a.m in the morning or 5 a.m in the morning do well to wake up that 5 a.m in the morning and take your product you can go back to sleep after five after taking your product if um, your vendor say you should take the product um, 12 o'clock early in the morning or 10 o'clock at night do well to take it that time that time that 10 o'clock or 12 o'clock in the midnight anytime at all do well to take it that time okay so this one will have it, it makes it work faster they have reason for that they have reason for for telling you to take your product at that specific time okay follow this procedure is a must though that is why it's, it's called rules and regulation so this thing falls under this rules and regulation you must take your product at so so time so you have to bend this thing down it should be in this um, rules take your product at so so time before breakfast take your product at so so time after dinner or before uh, uh, yeah after dinner okay so this follow procedure you have to follow procedures if you want your product to work as fast as possible the next rule is the results are permanent but you have to keep maintaining it you have to get other products to maintain it maintain once in a while they should have it at the back of their mind that after using their product they have gotten their desired uh, result you must continue to use the bus and heat enlargement product at least once in a month or twice in a month just take it it's not just feel relaxed and feel reluctant that you have uh, you have arrived you've gotten your desired result that means you don't have to um take bus and heat enlargement products and a whole lot you have to keep using it you have to keep using it too for maintenance okay so these rules have to be there so your clients will come and tell you that your product is not permanent your product is not permanent, it's not permanent. Your, your, res your result is not permanent, it's a uh, temporary. You need to let them know now that this is permanent, oh, but you have to maintain these results you've gotten from our uh, bus and hip enlargement products. Or weight loss products, um, rules and regulations. I'll be dropping them one after the other. Okay, thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for watching this video. And if you love this video, give this video a thumb up. And uh, if you have any question, any contribution, if you have any private questions, my number is on this screen. And do not forget to like this video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe before leaving. Thank you. Bye-bye.